So you you see that this guy he starts spinning. Uh, you see uh, Timbo take a bunch of just sand hitting him in the face. His face gets scratched up. He falls over and pass. You can see him like laying on the ground. He's bleeding. So as your death looms over you, you find yourself in a small room with a fireplace. You see a a youngish man sitting by the fire and he's like casually sketching on a pad. And he's like. Oh shit, Timbo! Hey, it's good to see you, man. Could this be my <laughs> lord and savior, Raga? <laughs> he goes in the flesh. Well, in in a sense. The sun's in his eyes. He can't see me. I come down. I'm wailing like a monkey. <laughs> and I just start shredding his face like a freaking cheese grater. <laughs> Fuck you, pal. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a long fight. That's amazing. Woo. <laughs> <laughs>Welcome once again to Prepare to Dice, an animated Dungeons and Dragons actual play show. My name is Raghav and I am your humble dungeon master and animator. So please join me in welcoming the real stars of the show, our rambunctious renegades. Hey, I'm Andrew. I'm playing Timbo. Hi, my name is Jagriti and I'm playing Poppy Seeds. Hi, my name is Luke and I'm playing Florbis. Hey, I'm Christine and I'm playing Rocco. All right, everyone. Without further ado, let's prepare to dice. Uh, all of you just watch Florbis just decimate this creature. God, that guy was a tank. Nice. Good job, man. I do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he always comes back. I never get very far. It's just really usually good. Let's move, guys. Chop, chop. <laughs> yeah, let's get a moving. <laughs> all right, so you guys start walking, uh, and you reach a giant cave in the middle of the desert. And Florbis, you know that this is the lair of the cave. You've never made it this far. This is uncharted territory for me, guys. <laughs> yeah. I think we should head in. This is the cave of the dragon. This is it. This is the big dog. Should we take a rest before? That might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use my potion too. Okay, I'm gonna heal myself. I'm gonna eat some snacks. We barely made it out of there alive. Ah, oh, yeah, just barely. How are you doing wound-wise? You got any any open cuts that we don't want to get more sand in? I'm doing okay. I, I'm doing better than, I guess, uh, Rocco. I'll do that cure wounds on myself. Florbus. What's up, dog? I'm gonna do healing word on you. That's very kind of you. We will, we will Rocco you. <laughs> Beautiful. She says, like, whispers that into your ear, and your, you see your wounds heal up. Beautiful moment. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna do a song of rest too. Dude, you got all the spells. Word, I am an air genasi bard, baby. <laughs> Everyone gets an extra two points for my beautiful song. I feel like all of my healing songs should be like they're rolling so low because I'm currently workshopping new songs. <laughs> do you like this? <laughs> I do not know. Does this rhyme? I don't think so. Feel better. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah, magnificent. We're freaking back, dude. <laughs> So you guys start walking inside, and as you walk, you start catching glimpses of like shining, glittering objects, and the cave tunnel opens up into a humongous layer. The only thing more domineering is the giant purple-black dragon that's sleeping soundly in the center of this humongous hall. The vibe here is mm, nice. <laughs> <laughs> So the dragon stirs and it rears its huge head. Oh my god, hi you guys. <laughs> oh my god, hi! <laughs> I am so proud of you. I've been waiting for someone to freaking make it here. My name is Farah with a PH. What, what are your names? Oh girl, it's so great to finally meet you. I love your vibe here. <laughs> it, you're killing it, slaying it, queen. My name's Rocco. It's fabulous to meet you. You look great all of you are great i love the diversity <laughs> in sizes and races it's great the look the whole look is just mwah. Love it. We're looking for some help with some some curses. You know anything about that? You able to? Uh... Oh my God! I'm so sorry to hear that you got curses. That's like I can undo them if that's something you guys are looking for. Oh yeah, absolutely. That that's sounds exactly right up my Exactly what we're right? looking. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's cool. I'm I'm super down to help you guys. I just uh, you know, what can I get in return? Is what I'm asking. Uh, exposure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a very particular kind of exposure, like exposure to more gold. <laughs> How many are you looking for? How many gold? How many? 
How many gold? <laughs> well, how many gold you got? I have two platinum. Do you want those? I can spare. Well, I have ten. That's all I have. Uh, uh, Poppy, please make a deception check with your ten gold blatant lie. <laughs> uh, sell it. You gotta sell it. Uh, six. Babe, I'm like a dragon. And I live in like a cursed land. Don't freaking lie to me, okay? I know you got a lot more gold. And if you want this curse to be uncursed, you gotta be a lot more forthright. Okay, how much are we talking about? Give me a number. Great question. I don't really do numbers. I'm more about like the feel of it. So how about you present me the gold and I'll tell you if it's enough. Yeah, we don't have a lot of money. I'm dead. <laughs> can, we, can we take some of the piles of gold that's like not in her direct vision and present that as our own? You know, like. Timbo, I feel like you're asking for more curses. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> I thought that was a sound plan. <laughs> I'm gonna at least throw 200 down. 200 gold? <laughs> I, I have a little bit more than this, but I'll put down 150. I can contribute, say, 200 gold. It's fine. I'll just put in what I have left. And I just put in all of what I have, which is 404. Oh, nice. All right, so she sees your pile and she's like, this is a good start, but I feel like your generosity needs a little bit more. Oh my gosh, greedy <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll add the rest of what I've got too, which is a total of 250. Okay, I throw in 100 more gold. I don't think I have any gold. No, you have nothing. <laughs> you don't have any, you're a dead yeah, guy. That's why I, yeah, I don't even have nose hairs. I don't know what to offer you. Just you have nose hairs. Also, I have, a, I have a ring in my inventory, a signet ring. I don't remember anything about that. Is that valuable? Is it shiny? I throw the signet ring in. It's shiny as shit. Hell yeah. So uh, she looks at your pile and she's like, hmm. All right, I guess this is good enough. I like it. I think I'll take it. Uh, well, one anti-curse coming up. And then you see she like breathes deeply and purple mist flows out from your skin. Florbis, uh, Timbo, even Poppy and Rocco, whatever residuum or uh, residual curse you have on you, it like comes out of you. And you feel yourself feeling lighter and healthy and you all heal up. You can tell that the curse is lifting. Oh. Yeah. And she sucks the mist into her nose and then she looks at Poppy and she's like, oh my God, you're like really pretty. Has anyone ever told you that? <laughs> Thank you. Game recognizes game. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Are you like part dragon? I don't know. I feel like there's a dragon aura in you and it just needs to be like let out. May I? And she like points her like claw towards you. Is she asking me for my permission? Yes. She's asking for your consent. Uh, yes. All right, so she reaches a clawed talent towards you and she touches your forehead. Uh, and Poppy, you feel something unlock inside of you. Ooh. And you feel raw, powerful magic flow through you. And for a second, her, you, everyone else is seeing Poppy's eyes glow, lightning crackles at her fingertips. The gold around you starts to like rise in the air and spin around you. And as soon as it started, it all ends and you're back to your normal self. Poppy, you have lost two levels of wizard and instead you have gained three levels of sorcerer. Oh. So Farah, she uh, finishes her like touching and she goes, I'd suggest a quick peek at your family tree when you have a chance. All right, everyone. It was great to meet you. Now, please fuck off. It's time for my nap. And she like breathes out and e all of you get like pushed out of the cave and as you're getting pushed out uh, you feel the portal open behind you and you all fall out into the into new hope harbor back <clears throat> the shop that you guys started from uh, we're poor <laughs> uh, i still have some gold left guys i'm part dragon so i had to keep some for myself oh, nice. <laughs> good for you <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you're in the store, you're in the Mage Mart, right? And so the Mage Mart owner, who is another uh, gnome, is there. He's like, oh, hey, dudes, y'all made it out. That's so great. Wait, is uh, Florbis with us now? Yeah. I mean, I went through the portal. You're, you're alive and you're back. All right. I appreciate you guys. I would have been stuck there for God knows how long. Our pleasure. Gnomes look out for gnomes. That's what we do. Thank you very much. Or maybe I should leave. Well, I, I think we should stay friends. <laughs> Are you breaking up with us? <laughs> <laughs>
Look, guys, I've been dead for a long time. I've been taking <laughs> shit from that sand guy for 20,000 years. It <laughs> sounds like he needs some space. I'm gonna go have a beer and, you know, chill for a little bit. Yeah, thanks for curing our curses. Uh, you, you see the, the other gnome who runs the store here? He, like, looks at you guys and he's like, Uh, hey, buddy, do you have somewhere to go? I have nowhere to go. I have no money. You're in a different world now. Hey, you want a job? You can. I, I'm always looking for help. I'm totally down to help gnomes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Hell yeah, dude. No worries, dude. He like he like gives you a high five and he's like, hell yeah, go have fun with your friends and then come back here later and we'll set you up. You and you guys can visit him anytime. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it's probably best. Thank you, kind sir. It's dinner time! <laughs> Let's go eat, guys. It's time to eat, bitches. <laughs> <laughs>